This is Twit. The location was Barcelona. The presentation was Samsung. <laughs> and what they unveiled was watched. the Samsung Galaxy S5. It has come down from the heavens, and it looks a lot Ooh, like, like the like S4. <laughs> <laughs> except Surprise. the back. Yeah, except yeah. the back is a lot except dimplier. Except the back is a little dimplier. So basically, this ga- Samsung, the long-awaited uh, Galaxy S5 was announced. Here are the rundown, the quick specs. Um, a 5.1-inch display at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Um, it's got a 2800 mAh battery with ultra power saving mode that doubles remaining battery life when it hits low levels. Um, it's got related IP67 for dust and water resistance, up to three feet of water for 30 minutes. It's got the finger scanner that we talked about on the home button, so you can swipe your finger across for unlock and yep, payment yep. authorization. Yeah, although is, I don't think that we got the launches many apps depending on which finger. Yeah, that, we didn't get the eight, the eight different fingers. Fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so it's, <laughs> so it's got, um, uh, a whole bunch of, I can't even go through all the specs. Yeah, a whole bunch yeah, of new don't, specs. don't. Cameras, <laughs> all this stuff. Basically, it's a little bigger, a little heavier, a little pa- more powerful than the Galaxy S4, and it's got the new design that, that is supposedly better to hold on to, that is, gives you a better grip. And aren't we lucky that Marquez... You uh, exactly. you saw and played around with this. You actually made a, a fantastic video about it. What, what what was your take on the S5? Uh, so on the phone itself, I it was it's it's not a bad phone. It's it's obvious it's an obvious iteration for Samsung's move from the S4 to the S5. Mm-hmm. So obviously it physically looks very similar, like you guys said. The specs are a, a step up a little bit in the next direction. It's got some new colors, some new backs. Uh, personally, uh, when I look at a new phone for, for me to use for personal use, uh, it's made me realize that more and more what I care about is design and then being able to personalize it with whatever I do to the operating system. So I've been, I've been using Nexus Fire for a while. I happen to like the design and, you know, a lot of the features that we talked about. So the new fingerprint scanner on the home button, I may never use that, you know, the new uh, the heart rate monitor on the back, I may never use that. The new software features may never use those. Uh, so what's really what really matters to me as a difference between the S4 and the S5 is the new design and the new specs. So I'm a, I'm a fan of the new specs. The new camera looks great. The new uh, the the larger battery looks great. The 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor looks great. The design. Uh, not so much of a, of a huge fan of. Obviously, it's a removable back, which a lot of people seem to forget. Like, oh, I hate the back of it, but you'll probably be able to buy a replacement back for it within a week of it launching. So, uh, I'm I'm just kind of I'm I'm getting used to these iterative spec updates, and I'm looking more forward to the the software stuff and being able to customize it and make it my own. So, I think this phone will be great for that, just like the S4 was. Not necessarily a must upgrade if you have the S4, but Definitely an update. It's it, a step in the right direction. It's it's very much, I got the sense, aside from the dimpled back and that kind of approach, it's very much a, okay, the S4 worked well. We're going to ratchet up a little bit with the latest, greatest technology and make it a little better. It's almost like a point release, I feel like. This isn't and like I a... I feel like the S4 was that over the S3 too. And that's just kind was, of... Yeah. This is kind of where we're at right now with hardware is yeah. that they're, they're, they are very incremental. I did, did think that the heart rate monitor as... Little as I would probably use that, that's interesting and new. But, you know, it's it's almost like Samsung is taking their approach that they've had with software, which are, look at all these cool things that we can do, and then when it comes down to it, how much do you actually use? Not saying that there aren't people that use them, but for me personally, that you know, those software enhancements are neat on paper, but I wouldn't necessarily use them, like you were saying a little bit earlier, Marquez. Uh, so the heart rate monitor kind of falls in that category, but with hardware, but still kind of cool that you can do that, right? A lot of people have asked for that kind of thing. But it's interesting to note that the Galaxy S5 ROM takes up 8 gig of space on the phone. Of 16. Of 16 gig. Of 16. So how important is that heart rate monitor app that Samsung comes with it for you? Well, I mean... (laughs) Right? I mean... You know, it's not just that app. It's it's a whole lot of... that, And that's constantly an issue with TouchWiz is that there's a lot of stuff jammed in there from a software perspective and it takes up space. Yep. Exactly. Uh, Yeah. But... If you're looking for it, uh, the Galaxy S5 will be available on April 11th. Um, so, and Sprint and T-Mobile say their customers will get to buy it in a couple of months. And AT&T said they will reveal more soon. So, if you're looking for uh, 
the date to pick it up. Uh, it's going to be April 11th and thereafter, depending on your carrier. I mean, pretty much worldwide. If you've yeah. seen the S4, you're going to see the S5. I yeah, mean, there's no stopping the Samsung train at this point. Yeah. Uh, as far as that's Gina, concerned. what do you think of the uh, S S5? What's your take on it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just it seems it. like uh, an iterate. I mean, I think that 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 fans of like this phone will, will be excited about this. I've I, I have I really haven't used a whole lot of the, of the Samsung, uh, the Samsung line. Uh, but yeah, sure. Now they did uh, they okay. did make some changes that I will give it props for the camera and and the SOC actually the system on the chip, which is I believe it's the uh, what is it? It's the Snapdragon 801. Yep boost from the 800 and that actually enables them to do faster image processing and they're doing some pretty cool things you know i think they tout the fastest um autofocus at 0. 0.3 seconds to focus and take a shot so oh, do, 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 you know really fast the camera so what's I that the camera, uh, yeah i think the camera is one of the best parts of yeah. this update it had like i think they mentioned a separate image processor uh, so separate from the 801 and the shots that i was taking with it there was this burst mode that took 30 shots and maybe three and a half seconds or something like wow. that. The image quality on the S4 was already pretty good. So I'm assuming while I couldn't pixel peep, like I said in the video, it did look to be like some pretty solid image quality. The real-time HDR. Uh, real-time HDR super is Super fast. Cool. Yeah, the super fast autofocus. So a whole bunch of great stuff going on with the camera. I think this is a good update for people who really care about the camera. And that's, and that's yeah. at the top of a lot of people's list, right? Yeah. Camera, yeah. battery. If you're addressing those things in a significant hardware way, I think, then you're on to something. And in some in some ways the S five has done that. So um yeah. Right. It's yeah. it's it's iterative, but they did some things right, yeah. I think, with this one. So I'm still not liking the dimply back though. Dimply back. The, the, uh, as you pointed out on Google Plus, I believe it was your post, Marquez. Uh, the similarity to a band aid is is striking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, supposedly, from what I read, Marquez, tell me if I'm wrong, but it was it was it 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 gave more of a grip than the S4. Like it felt more like oh, it was sick. better to hold in the hand. Definitely, yeah. It's yeah. got if you've ever played with the Note Three, that has a, a sort of a tacky feel to it. Besides yeah. the lot of stitching, this is even more tacky than the Note Three and the new Samsung tablet. So it's definitely grippier, uh, and it's it's still the removable back. So it was curious to me that it was still um, IP67, so water resistant, dust resistant. Uh, yeah. But I, I like the feel of the back. If it was flat, if it didn't have those dimples, it would be great. There's there's no way you're going to see fingerprints on it. It looked really cool. It didn't look like it would wear very much. So I was I was happy about the material, but it was just not doing it for me for design.